Hello and welcome everyone, Ducky O'Brien here, and today I'll be bringing you guys a preview of a game called Receiver 2. Receiver 2 is pretty much a rehash of the first game, if you played it. It was developed and published by Wolfwire Games, and it was released onto Steam on April 14, 2020, with an MSRP of $19.99. So I'm going to get into it. The best way I can describe this game is that it's basically a roguelike, sort of, FPS, and... Its main gimmick is that it kind of features the realistic use and uh, basically handling of guns. So I got a revolver here, I can look at my barrel, or whatever that's called. <laughs> I'm not a gun guy, but you can inject the casings, put in new bullets, and then close it. So this is... you're doing that in real time, so you might get a semi-automatic, etc where you pretty much have to load it and ready it for use pretty much the entire time. You can even pull the hammer back. And if you just move around like this, move around like this, I, the gun may actually fire and go off, so. I'm gonna go into the basis. Oh, there's a balloon there, let's shoot it. So the basic goal of the game is a flashlight. Oh, that's kind of cool. Anyways, the basic goal of the game is that you're looking for tapes. So I gotta give a little bit of a back story here. Uh, the story doesn't hold your hand. It's kind of disjointed, non-chronological order. But basically, there was a threat. Something called literally the threat that came. And there was an event called the Mind Kill where it killed most of humanity. But the receivers who saw this coming train themselves and then they're able to defend against it uh, by fortifying their mind. And then when the mind kill happened, they were in like a comatose state and the game is all about waking up. So they have two realities. One is obviously, you know, Illuminati stuff <laughs> like your mind, whatever. And then the second reality is in the world, the physical world. So... You're going around finding these tapes which will teach you the receiver basics and then once you have learned everything then you can be woke basically. Uh, it does get a little ham-fisted at times. There are references to suicide and all of that and I think it's a little disingenuous the way they, they do it but you got tapes here if you want to listen to some. It is vital that you know that you are not dreaming. This is real. This is the time you have prepared for. Uh, I think the voice acting is just mediocre. But you have notes here that you find. You have floppy disks. And it kind of gives you a background of the story. And there's a character named Mangus who is alive in this state where they can die and do anything and then come back so uh, she's going out and scouting for you and kind of gives you little tips on how to get to certain places yeah let's play for a little bit don't think this game is for everyone but if you die uh, you will have to start over again so as you can see you have to find five tapes um, over here, I am initiate one. They're, they're, they're different models. I mean, levels, sorry. <laughs> and then, you know, uh, the enemies get harder. They're like shock drones that fly. And uh, there are armor drones or cameras that alert all of these guns to your location. The only enemy are basically turrets. There are no people oh, like that one right there. Also, one hit will kill you, so... little mini game you have seen the signs around you 
The gradual creeping, decay, and dysfunction. You have realized that something is wrong with the media and the people around you. You know that you are different. This is why you are ready to become a receiver. You have been issued a series of audio cassette tapes that are part of our system for advancing insight. By continually listening to these tapes, you will drown out and eventually counteract the negative influences from your environment. I died. But yeah, uh, I, I feel like it's a little pretentious, if you ask me. The story, the voice acting, um... You know what? This flashlight sucks. How do we turn it off? <laughs> Let's see. There you go. One. Yeah, you kind of put your gun away when you're not using it. Um, there are tapes where it kind of... Again, in a rather ham-fisted manner, teaches you about gun safety. Uh, I mean, it. it's like basic facts, but... You know, it's like common sense stuff that anyone who... Just uses their brain a little bit will understand about guns. Okay. And it's like a roguelike, if you noticed that uh, since I died, I'm back to 0 out of 5 tapes. So my, some minor gripes. I'm, I'm I'm enjoying the game so far. I'm I'm a bit curious as to where the story is gonna go. But if you notice the little camera bob while walking, I am not a fan of that. It gives me uh, motion sickness, and also the running mechanic is tied to double tapping W. So there's some cases where you gotta make some tricky jumps or navigate ledges, and you will kinda just fall off and die. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. So the levels are kind of randomly generated. They have like these pre-built environments that they stitch together in different ways. Um, there's a turret there. about that suicide thing there are tapes that you listen to which kind of represent negative thoughts and the gun will literally turn around and try to shoot you in which case you have to empty out the chamber and if it happens one of the bullet holes got filled up and you can't use it so the tape here so the hacking mini game you basically have to take that the most important virtue of a receiver is mental resilience and the only way to build resilience is to practice rebounding from adversity. Um, but basically, for that mini game, you're supposed to keep that white bar, not the big bar, but the little bar that's moving, the little thin one. You gotta keep that in the safety zone, kind of like a generator check in Dead by Daylight, and wait for the thick white bar to fully reach the end, and then the turret is hacked. Apparently the... oh yes, if you look in the mirror, you kind of look like this, which I think is kind of trippy. But apparently the first game was created in only 7 days? Which if I find crazy? come this way before so if you remember the note I read oh the heck 
Oh, that, that scared me. <laughs> See if they can hack it without shooting it. So this bar I have to keep in here. Which will advance the thick white bar. Uh oh. Oop. <laughs> I have to do it before the red bar hits that line there. Let's try it again. There you go. Hold for bullets. Yeah, one shot can kill you. And again, for that note, I read uh, apparently you can jump down on the ledge. But I'm gonna walk my way down if I can. Don't know what these balloons are for, but I like shooting them. It's a floppy disk booger man. Alright, let's look at that note. I finally fell asleep. For days I was too scared to even try. What if the drones find me? What if a turret materializes in the room with me? So I slept under a bed in the apartments. Like a child. Uh, oh. From the boogeyman. This is booger man. <laughs> That's what my little girl used to call him. Audrey had, Audrey had a whole raft of funny words like that. But she was always completely serious about them. Hmm. Okay. Well I think the booger man would be... Much scarier if you ask me. The blue of the turret. Where's it coming from? Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I died. I should have shot it. Got to start all over. So I think you guys kind of get the idea of the game here. There are five levels. Wait, that was here before. No turret. Okay. Oh, there's a turret there. Peekaboo. if I die like this. Be very quiet. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> Don't be suspicious. Okay. Now oh, let's try jumping down. This is gonna end very poorly. But um... Hmm. Uh, okay, let's try it. <laughs> we died. I missed the railing. You fell to your death. Yes, I know. Falling from heights can cause injury or even death. Thank you, I didn't know that. You do have a limited number of bullets, so kind of have to sell your way through some things. Let's 
you get areas like this where you gotta do that. <laughs> I made it. But yeah, the double tapping to sprint is not good. Wait. Oh my. I think the gun guns sound and feel good though. I'm not even sure if I got that one. Okay. I wasted bullets there, but that's fine. Give me your sweet bullets. See if I can climb on the ledge to shoot these balloons. I don't know why I do it. I find it fun though. Oh, and I got injured there. Ooh, don't fall down. <laughs> no. See, this is. If you saw that, what happened was I was tapping W, and it thought it was I was running, so it kind of boosted me, and I could have fallen off there. It does it again, right? See if I can get this in one shot. Anticlimatic there. Bam! Nailed it! Whiz. Okay. I feel like the narrative elements have some interesting aspects to them, but the actual delivery is a little lacking. That's my personal take on it. Um, you know, other people loved it, other people hated it. Oh, some- oh, I got one that was used, whatever. Oh well. Some of them get- do get stuck. Alright. can still shoot me. No, <laughs> it's still time. It reminds me of the Portal 2 turrets. Are you still there? Okay. I'll just try a little bit more and then we'll call it an end there. I'm just trying to show off the gameplay. It definitely does not hold your hand. You can turn off the lights for some reason. I don't know why, but I like turning off the lights. Uh, I'm not doing it here for, for the sake of saving time in this playthrough, but I'll go through and turn off the lights in every single area. Even these little floor ones can interact with them. Okay. Let's go up the stairs. I think, um... It's gonna go off on a little tangent here. I don't know why, but it seems like the thing for developers to do now is to stick in some mental health PSAs or whatnot. And like, it's an important topic. I think it's very important. But I think the ways that some people handle it are kind of undermine what they're trying to do in the first place. Um, Turn off TVs. There's a lot of surprising amount of games that I played recently that tackle that. Uh, whether they do it well or not, I'll leave it up to you guys. But like the Shattering is a walking simulator that had. Oh, what's that? Can I shoot this? 
Nice. That dealt with mental health. Um, a lot of these games do, and I don't know. It's nice to see it being addressed more, but like, you know, it it has to be done well if your main goal is to wear raise awareness or to help people. Uh, it has to be done well. <laughs> Some of these turrets are very tricky. Okay. Did I stop the motor? I'm waiting to see if it moves. Okay, I think we're good. Again, I think the gun handling, the sounds, how it feels, how you reload them, I think it's all great. Uh, I like how the game is pretty difficult, it doesn't hold your hand. There are some things that I like about this game, uh, there's some other things that I don't. Like the double tapping for the sprint, I think hurts more than it helps. I don't think there's a reason why you need to do that. Like it doesn't add anything to the gameplay. Um, the story is pretty interesting. Again, the delivery can be hit or miss. I feel like, in my opinion, some things are very ham-fisted. Very inelegant. Uh, bordering on being slightly pretentious sometimes, but other elements are incredibly fascinating. I think it's well-written sci-fi. The general thematic elements they have there. And I kind of like how it's a roguelike in that, you know, once you're dead, you, you start over. But that's not the biggest problem because it teaches you how to memorize the maps. Again, the way the maps are generated are random, but the areas themselves are pretty much the same. And have the tapes in the same or very similar locations so that, you know, as you die, if you, you know, play the game over and over again, it kind of teaches you how to get better at navigating the areas. I don't think it can see me from here, can it? Okay. Just making sure. There you go. I'm shooting in the right place, am I? I can't tell right now. What was that? Spike in the gameplay there. Oh no, <laughs> I'm gonna waste all my bullets on this. There you go. Put the turret out of its misery. Give me your sweet bullets. There is a turret here somewhere. Turn off all the lights, which I like doing. So no, very weird. You can also break these arcade cabinets, which I feel is a shame, considering how uh, how important they are to video game history, and not easy taking care of arcade cabinets as they get older.
be very, very, very quiet. <laughs> We're hunting rabbits. shooting sometimes. There you go. Maybe I'm aiming at the motor so it stops moving. This is kind of too close for comfort. Sweet bullets. I didn't want to come this way. I just wanted to shoot the turret. Nonviolence is the best. Free bullets. Yeah, I like how this is pretty much you have to scout ahead. You kind of can't, you know, fight the turrets based on your twitch reaction speeds. You will die in one hit. See if any, any glimmer of a tape is down there. Doesn't look like it. I died to this guy last time. I'm not making the same mistake. Was that the sensor? I don't know. Let's stop the motor as well. There you go. Floppy. The floppies are the only things that carry over as you die, so. Dear Maggie Mongoose, I am pleased to tell you that yes, someone reads your mass missives. Gratefully, I can assure you. You see, I suffer from the opposite problem from what you described in your first message, the mongoose strikes. That is to say, I'm rather adept at taking on the more metaphysical and esoteric elements of the receiver lore have always struggled with the physical side of our training so it's a quite relief to find that there's help out there from someone with a penchant for daring actions and feats of valor okay can i go down I don't want to go up. I want to go down.
Oh, it. Oh no. Does it literally not let me go down? Or do I have to take a different elevator for that? All right, let's try jumping again. <laughs> uh, we died. It was worth a try. But <laughs> I am not ex afraid to experiment with games, by the way. I used to be so afraid of failing that I would always play it safe. But lately, as I grew older, I'm like, hey, screw that. You gotta experiment sometimes, you know? There's a difference between analyzing risk versus reward, obviously, but for moments like this where I don't really lose anything for experimenting, I'm okay with trying to find different ways to play the game. Alright, I'll just play for a few more moments, and then we'll call it and there. I don't manage to get myself killed. Oh, uh, uh, I seem to be stuck here. Uh oh. Hmm. Did I unintentionally find a way to like it? Oh, that is a big drop. That's a no no. Well, we are. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I was gonna say we're stuck, but then we got out and then we fell and died again, so. <laughs> Apparently in the first one, it was just one level that got progressively harder as you proceeded and you can collect all 11 tapes in one go. This one is you have to collect 5, then you go to the next stage and you collect some more and the last stage I believe is 3. And so forth and so forth so. I see some the bullets. This is where I died last time. You know what they say? Oh. Uh, if I fail this, it will kill me. So I guess... Just don't fail. <laughs> okay. I did not think it could shoot me from that distance. But each encounter is a little bit scary because, again, it only takes one bullet to kill you. Just gonna teach that drone a thing or two. How dare it attack me. It has 360 vision. <laughs> oh. oh my. <laughs> Scary. That was the sensor. You know, let's find out. Oh, okay, that was not. <laughs> that was not. Man, turret. Was it showing proper love when it was a young piece of machinery? Okay. Denty or denter? So looking for some tapes. 
also the mouse sensitivity the default setting is kind of on the low side so to just increase it a tad Paranoid about turrets being sneaky sneaks. Under floppy. Yoga in the park too. Let's read that one. They didn't push anyone to join. I could tell they were extremely cautious. We would just show up. Dude, I got it exercises for an hour. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary for what it was. Hold this pose, concentrate here, breathe, and always listen, listen, listen. I did this for months. I was curious, but also patient. Later, I learned that this process was called getting to baseline. Okay. Where the heck is this turret? Oh. How do I even get up there? You know some fights are last before they begin, so let's uh let's call this a victory and just move on. They still shoot me, so I wanna get rid of it. I thought I was shooting the weak spot. Oh! Okay, perfect place to call that an end. <laughs> yes, I was shot by a turret. It was a trap. Okay. There you have it, the game is Receiver 2 by Wolfire Games. Hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. I wasn't very good at this game. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time with it before I started recording. But yeah, I definitely do want to get better at it. Um, I think a lot of it is just memorizing the levels. I don't think the gunfire or fighting the turrets are especially hard. It's more like being able to find tapes before you die. Downward dog. Okay, I know what that is. It's a yoga pose. But there you have it, folks. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, comments, things you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, hope you guys are staying sane and safe out there in these trying times. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take this turret!